Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice mathematical challenge. How do we solve this question on the board? The question reads, root x plus root y minus root z equal to 4 all over root 7 plus root 3 plus 2. What then will be the values of x, y, and z? If you're new here, this is online mass TV where we roll out nice mathematical challenges all the time step-by-step -step guide to solving some tough mathematics okay so yeah we're going to solve this without much waste of time never forget to subscribe if you are a new person here okay so without much waste of time let's go into today's challenge we take our solution so solution this side of the expression does it have issue we are going to deal with this side. So let's put down the uh, right hand side, which is 4 all over root 7 plus root 3 plus 2. Okay, so what do we do here? If you look at this expression here, this is sword, a wonderful sword. How do we solve this? Now we cannot find the conjugate of this. So what do we do? Now, Remember, if we have uh, something like, um, if we have your a plus b, the conjugate of this will give us a minus b, straightforward. But here, look at the terms we have in here now. So what I will do here is that I'm going to put this and this in a bracket to form an entity, okay? So we cannot find the conjugate of this now. So the conjugate of this will be whatever we have in here minus two. So as we want to rationalize, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by the conjugate. So let's rationalize this. So this will give us here 4 into, um, let we're going to use a square bracket, root 7, then plus root 3, close bracket, minus 2. Okay? By the numerator. So here we have the denominator, we do the same. Here we have your square root of 7 plus the square root of 3, close bracket, minus 2, sorry, plus 2, okay, plus 2 there, into a square bracket, then into your bracket, square root of 7, plus root 2, sorry, 3, there, close bracket, minus 2. Okay, let's close this in the square bracket. Again, so we can now go ahead to open the numerator and the denominator, but let's keep the numerator first. Let's deal with the denominator. So this now implies your 4 into a square bracket of the square root of 7 plus square root of 3 close bracket minus 2 all over. Let's draw a very lengthy line because we're going to use everything here to open a vex. Okay, so we use this to open this. So this will now give us here bracket open root 7 plus root 3 close bracket into root 7 plus root 3. Okay, we also use this to multiply this. So this will give us minus 2 into root 7 plus root 3, right? Okay, close bracket. Then we come to this side, we use this to open up everything here. So we have here plus your 2 into root 7 plus root 3, close bracket. We use this to multiply this, so we have minus 4. Okay. Middle here, this and this. This is negative, this is positive, and what we have inside are the same. So this and this leaves the system. So we are now left with this. So let's bring our numerator again. So this is equal to, let's draw our lengthy line here. So we have 4 into, into our square bracket, the square root of 7 plus the square root of uh, 3 plus bracket minus 2 uh, plus bracket. Then what we have here, let's open this side because we have this and this left now. So from here, let's open it. We have 7 times uh, 7 here. This will give us the square root of um, 49. Then this is 9, please. Okay, this time this will give us plus the square root of 21. 
We come to this, this times this will give us plus the square root of 21. Then this, this will give us plus the square root of 9. Then minus our 4. Easy. Again, let's proceed at the bottom here. So we keep the numerator again. So we have a square root, yes, of 7 plus the square root of 3 plus bracket minus R2 into this. There's a reason why I decide not to touch the numerator first. We're going to see it soonest. So here, here is our denominator. This will give us here uh, 7, then um, plus, we have two of these, so we have 2 root 21, and here we have plus 3 minus 4. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the bird. Now look at here, we still have some space here, so let's quickly put in something here. So this is equal to the numerator of 4 into our square bracket bracket, the square root of 7 plus the square root of 3 plus bracket minus uh, 2 are covered all over. Yeah, so we cannot add this and this together. So we have 7 plus 3, we give us um, 10 minus this, we give us positive 6. So we have this to be 6 uh, plus 20, sorry, 2 into the square root of 21. So we cannot continue on this side of our bird here now. So this is equal to, here we have 2, here we have 2, so we can factor out 2 from here. We are having four already. You now see the reason why I decide to still leave this numerator. So this will now give us here. If we factor out two here, two we cancel out this. We are left with two. Two into this, we are left with three plus root this. So automatically we're going to have this to be two into our square bracket, your root seven plus root three. Okay? Right, close bracket, minus two, close our square bracket here. All over, yeah, we're going to have 3, the plus root 21. Easy. Okay, so what we do next here, we rationalize the denominator again. We'll find the conjugate of 3 plus root 21, and the conjugate, of course, is um, 3 minus root 21. So we multiply that by the numerator and denominator again. So this will be equal to, we have our 2, uh, before then, let's open up this side now, okay? So if we open up, we're going to have here 2 into root 7 plus 2 root 3, then minus 4, everything into the conjugate here, which is 3 minus root 21, close bracket. All over your 3 plus root 21, okay? Then close bracket into 3 minus our root 21, close bracket. Easy. We move again. Let's draw our straight line here. Okay. So 2 root 7 times 3, this will give us 6 root 7. 2 root 7 times minus, uh, okay, let's go with 3, sorry. So 3 times this, we have this. Then 3 times this will give us plus 6 root 3, then again, 3 times minus 4 will give us minus 12. We come to this side, so we have 2 root 7 times minus root 21. This will give us here minus your 2 root, this time this will give us um, 147, 147. Okay, then again, we have um, this times this will give us minus your, let's still extend this. Okay, so we take this and this this time around. So we have here minus um, 2 root 63, 63. And lastly, this, this will give us minus uh, plus, yeah? It's going to give us plus because minus times minus will give us plus. So plus 4 root 20. One. Okay, so let's come to the denominator here. So 3 times 3 will give us here 9. Then 3 times this will give us minus um, 3 root 21. I come to this. This times this will give me here plus 3 root 21. And this times this will give me minus uh, root 21 
r to the power of 2. Of course, you know, these, these will leave the system, and here will give us 21. Okay, so we are left with 9 minus 21. But let's come to our numerator. If we look at our numerator, we can simplify this to give us um, 3 times 49. Yeah, 3 times 49 will give us 147. And this will give us um, 7 times um, 9. Okay, so let's rewrite the numerator. Again, we're going to have this. Let's draw our very long line here. Okay, so we have 6 root 7 plus 6 root 3 minus 12 minus... Okay, let's take it gradually, okay? So let's take this gra gradually. So if we have this to be 49 times um, 3, so square root of 49 is 7. So 7 times 2 will give us here minus 14 root 3, the whole of this. Same thing here. Here we have 9 times 7. And the square root of 9 is 3. So 3 times 2 will give us minus 6 root um, 7. Okay. There plus 4 root 21. Okay. The denominator we have 9 minus 21. Any confusion? No. We continue again. So this is equal to, let's draw our line again. Okay, let's look at our numerator. It's like something good is happening here. Something good is happening here, right? Okay, so we have 6 root 7 plus of it. Here we have minus 6 root 7. So these and this leave the system. Cool. Okay, so here we have 6 root 3. Do we have any other root 3 here? Yes. Here we have um 14 root 3. So if we have this minus this, so we have this to be minus 8 root 3. Any confusion so far? No. Plus 4 root uh, 21, then minus 12. All right. So our denominator, if we subtract this from this, will give us minus um, 12, right? So we have here minus 12. Now, I, I want to arrange the numerator. I want to bring this first, followed by this, and this comes last. So this will now be equal to minus 12, then minus 8 root 3, then plus 4 root 21, everything all over your uh, minus 12. Now, check out this now. What is common to this and this? I can bring out um, 4 from here, then use 4 to multiply it. So let's continue on this side of the board and see what this gives us in turn. So if I simplify minus 4 here, so I have a minus 4 into this will give me a positive 3, then minus, here we have 2 root, um, okay, this will also give me positive, please. So positive root 3, then this will give me negative of root 21. Okay, so I have this here now. Close bracket, all the right. Yeah, you gotta have this to be your minus four into three. Easy, so this, this, leave the system. So I'm now left with your three plus your two root three, the minus root 21, all over your three. Now, I can separate this out, separate this, separate this into this component. So this expression is the same thing as three, all over three, plus your two root three, all over three, minus root 21, all over three. Easy. Now, let's look at our question. Look at the question. Look at what we're asked to look for. We are asked to look for x, y, z, right? And look at the expression we have here because at the end, we want to compare the both sides of the equation in order for us to get our x, y, and z. So all I need to do is to ship this inside, ship this inside so that everything will be covered with square root here. So from here, I'm going to have this to be 
3 all over 3 will, of course, will give me 1. Okay, so I have 1 plus. Yeah, if I move this 2 in, that will be 4. Okay, because root 4 will give us 2. So that will be now 4 times 3, which is what? 12. So automatically, I'm going to have this to be root 12 all over. I want to change this also to root. So for me to introduce roots here, yeah, that is to say 9. So root 9 will give us 3. So this is the same thing as root 9. The minus here we have 21 all over root 9. Also, so I can rewrite these two expressions here now. So we have here to be 1 plus the square root of 12 all over 9, the minus the square root of 21 all over 9. Now you can see that something can go into this and this, this and this. So we end up having this to be 1, okay, plus, here we have square root, the square root of 3, here we give us 4, all over 3, here we give us 3, then minus, here we have 3, here we give us 7, and 3, here we give us 3, which is equal to, now if I have to copy our equation, look at this, if I have to copy this, so what does that mean? It means x, sorry, root x is equal to 1, root y is equals to root 4 all over 3, and minus root z is equals to minus, you see that they now tally. So how do we now get our x, y, and z? So from here, we have this to be, therefore, let's take it here, yeah, therefore we now have our um, root x is equal to 1, which therefore shows that our x is equal to what? 1. So we've gotten our x from this expression now. Okay, let's go ahead and solve for y and z. Okay, so again, let's erase this. All right, so let's take our uh, y. So we're going to have this to be, this now implies that the square root of y will now be equal to what? Okay, this, which is square root of 3 all over, sorry, square root of 4 rather. So we have 4 all over 3. Okay. So this, this list, the system, so we have y is equals to 4 all over 3. So we'll solve for our y already. The last one, which is not the least, minus z. So we have our minus root z is equal to, that will be equivalent to this here. So we have minus the square root of 7, what is happening? 7 all over your 3, right? Again, this, this, go, this, this, leave the system. So we have z is equal to 7 all over 3. Okay, so we've succeeded in looking for the three um, variable. So we cannot say, therefore, rx is equal to 1. The, our y is equal to 4 all over 3. And lastly, our z is equal to Seven all over three. Oh my goodness! All right. So this marks the end to this wonderful challenge here. Many looking at it may think it's simple, but it's not as simple as easy as you may think. Okay. So if you learn something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up, and do not forget to drop a comment in the comment section down below it could be thanks g it could be well done or you have a better way of solving this challenge here leave it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you remember jakes loves you and all of us at online mass tv loves you bye for now